Hey guys, Bearfox here and welcome back to another brand new video. Today I'll be showing you guys should you use Nvidia low latency for Fortnite and side by side comparison of low latency on versus off. I hope you learned something new with this video so watch it all the way till the end. And if you like the content consider subscribing to the channel and let's move right into the video. Alright, so I've been trying all the settings in Fortnite and found out this amazing thing called low latency mode which by the name has to do something with your input delay. We will dive deeper into this with the video but before moving ahead, I would like you all to know that Fortnite has tons of in-game items such as skins, pickaxes, textures and much more. All of this makes the game very heavy, hence the detailed skin you wear, the larger input delay you get. Now I have tried playing this game on DX12 DLSS on performance and I was able to get around 15 milliseconds input delay. Which isn't too much and it was best for previous seasons but again I enable low latency mode from the Nvidia control panel. If you don't know how to enable Nvidia low latency on your computer, don't worry, follow this. Right click on any empty area of your desktop and then click on Nvidia control panel. Nvidia control panel will only show up if you have an Nvidia graphics card. Now once you are here, you'll see 3D settings. Inside it, the second option which says manage 3D settings. Now over here, you'll see your global settings and also your program settings. So you have to go to program settings. Then you have to click on add and then add Fortnite client from the list of the applications in here. You have to search for a while and then when you find your Fortnite, you have to click on add selected program. I have already added mine and also click on this show only programs found on this computer. Now scroll down and then you'll find your low latency mode in here. Now I have set my low latency mode to ultra from the global settings so it is already showing use global setting but you guys can manually drop it down to ultra. Or you can also go to global settings, scroll down and then for the low latency mode, select ultra and it will automatically apply to each and every application which uses 3D settings. Then click on apply and then close your NVIDIA control panel. Alright, so once you're logged in your game, go to your settings. Now in here, scroll all the way down until you find your rendering mode and then make sure that it is on performance beta. After you're done with the advanced graphics, the game will ask for a restart. All you have to do is restart your game and then come back into your video menu again and then most of the graphics quality settings are already gone. You will only see 3D resolution, view distance, textures and meshes. Make sure the textures and meshes are low and if you have a low end PC, for view distance you can either keep it to medium or low. Also, go to the gear option over here, scroll all the way down and then make sure that record replays are turned off. While you're recording the replay, your PC consumes more CPU and GPU power. I highly recommend you guys to turn it completely off for better results. Once you're done with that, go back, drop into the game. I was astonished to see that my input delay fell down between 7 to 10 milliseconds, which is a huge upgrade. This will be very beneficial in super laggy end games and arena games. Trust me guys, this is a table turner. The reason for this is because performance mode is optimized to run your game on lower 3D resolution exactly like Fortnite Mobile. You can also see the builds are meshed. In this way, your PC utilizes less cores in both your processor and RAM and the low textures allowing the world to render much faster than the detailed file in PCs. Again, you lose quality in the in-game environment but it is worth the sacrifice for better FPS. Let me know if you think that these kinds of update videos are good so I can start a series of Fortnite updates. I will also compare DX11, DX12 and performance mode for all kinds of gaming setup. So stay tuned for the upcoming videos. Also leave a like if you have learned something new today and see you all in the next video. Until then stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox and Peace out.